welcome back to D Diets. How are you? If you're new to the channel, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Turn that red subscription thing to gray. Ring the notification bell. You know, the little thing that pops up. It'll let you know when I'm putting out another video because I don't put them out all the time. I really don't. Anyway, what are we making today? Today on our plant-based journey, if you hear in the background collar shaking, well, that would be the three dogs that are in this house. They usually make an appearance occasionally when I am videoing. Anyway, I am making a cabbage lasagna. Doesn't that sound really, really good? Eating plant-based. For me, eating plant-based is having absolutely no meat, no eggs. Also, not having any kind of dairy product, no processed anything. Uh, clean, clean, clean. From the earth, onto my plate, into my mouth. So I'm going to make this vegetable lasagna and I think it's gonna be really, really good. I basically did a lot of prep work prior so we wouldn't have to walk through the whole entire thing. So let me show you what's in this bowl. And it's completely cool. In this bowl, I have mushrooms, I have red, not red, yeah, I do. I have red peppers, green peppers, those would be my uh, freeze dried ones that I had, but you can use fresh. I also have a whole yellow zucchini. I have two candied onions. You can use any onion that you want. I sauteed it off in some vegetable broth and look how gorgeous this is. Because I'm not having meat, this will replace my meat filling. I also cut up, because you're allowed to have starch and potatoes, oh yeah. I thinly sliced on a mandolin white potatoes and sweet potatoes. Yes, I did, yes, I did. And I also steamed off my cabbage. Here is my cabbage, wee, big pieces of cabbage. And I'm going to line it all up. I have some beautiful fresh tomato sauce. And really what is in here is just the tomatoes. I buy the Hunt's uh, San Monzano tomatoes with garlic and crushed red pepper. It has no oil in the can. Because I'm having absolutely no oil, I'm having no dairy, I'm having no meat. I also have beans. I have all varieties of beans. I have rice, I have pasta, I have bread, and I have potatoes. But potatoes are my weakness and I really, really love them. So I'd like to incorporate them into this completely vegan, friendly, uh, meal. It has no vegan cheese, no vegan meat, none of it. If it came from the ground, it's going into my belly. Anyways, so let me put this together for all of you and you can see how I'm just going to do this really quick and simple. Okay, so let's take a little bit of this tomato sauce. If I need more, I'll get more. Remember, vegetables give off water. And I know that the, I'm not putting that much on it. I know that the cabbage will have give off water. So I'm just gonna come over here and grab some cabbage. My hands are impeccably clean. And I'm just going to open this up and do this. I'll make one layer and then I won't do any more on camera because what would be the point? I'll show you the finished product at the end. But I'm just putting it on here. Doesn't that look pretty? It looks pretty already. It looks like Christmas. Now you don't have to be special, special. You know, when you're putting this on here, don't go nuts. I'm not putting lasagna noodles in here, that's for sure. Even though you could have whole wheat, I am really trying to stay away from, I have pasta occasionally, and I can honestly say I don't have it every day, I might have it once a week. I really do, I have it once a week. So now that the bottom is covered, okay, we're gonna stick our potatoes on here. Again, being very liberal, be very liberal. There's no ifs, ands, or buts to any of this. You don't have to go crazy. It's all gonna meld in at the end. Doesn't this look fabulous? We'll make it like the potatoes or the cheese. <laughs> but it's really not supposed to taste like a cheese lasagna, you know what I mean? Do we need all that saturated fat? I don't think so. And I, for one, do not want it. So let's put this on. Let's put some of this on. I'm going to spread this around. Look at this. Isn't this, look at, this is so healthy. I can't even begin to tell you how healthy this is. 
Okay, and believe it or not, guys, I took three pounds of mushrooms. I have the same mixture sitting in my refrigerator because if I add a can of tomato sauce to that, that's a beautiful um, mock meat sauce over pasta during the week because my husband loves it. Now, what I like to do with this is bake off a potato, a big potato, and then put some of this in and then put some salsa on top. I know. Doesn't, it, doesn't this look so beautiful already? Now we're gonna take the remainder of, let's see, we're gonna bring some more potatoes in. Do, 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 do. You see how easy this is? I don't even have to tell you how easy this is. Lining it up, putting it all on here. I'm really loading it with the potatoes. Just so that you know, these were four potatoes. They were four white potatoes and three small yams, sweet potatoes. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. Inside the mixture, just so that you know, of the mushrooms, I did put Italian seasoning. I put up all the um, Italian herbs that I could find in my pantry and garlic, and I sauteed those onions off real good. When you caramelize an onion, is that ever so delicious? Look at the size of this pan. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I will be guilt-free eating it, absolutely guilt-free eating it. Oh my goodness. This looks so, so good. I thought I'd have to stop the recording, but you know what? I really don't have to. Let's bring this last bit of cabbage over. Let's line the top of it. Oh my God, look at the size of that leaf. That's fabulous. There we go. Just covering it all. I will cover it with tin foil. I will let it bake in the oven for an hour. Yes, I will at 350 degrees. I should stop my oven. Oh my goodness, I forgot. This was a head of cauliflower, a whole head of cauliflower. There we go. Oh my gracious. Doesn't that look just beautiful? It really does. It really does. I'm covering it all, my friends. I'm covering it all. Oh, this is gonna taste so good. The only thing that really isn't cooked are the potatoes. So when I wrap this up, the potatoes will cook and they will cut extremely thin on a mandolin. Remember that mandolin that I bought? Do you remember for $5 at the Goodwill? Yeah, I came in handy today. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of all-purpose seasoning. It's got everything in it. And I'm just gonna sprinkle, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me just do it this way. Okay. Sprinkle a little of this on top. Use your favorite Italian seasoning, whatever you like. You know, we're flavoring it up. Basically, it's garlic in here and onion in here and basil. Then we're going to take the remaining of our sauce and we're just going to drizzle it on. It doesn't have to be loaded in fatty sauce with lots of oil. It doesn't need that. Gonna spread it around. Wow, wow. I wish you, mm, those tomatoes smell great. You know, guys, I love tomatoes. I'm Italian after all, I love tomatoes. Okay, so let's put tin foil over this. Wow, is that heavy? We'll put tin foil over this, cook it in the oven for an hour, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I popped that in the oven. But a few weeks ago, I did a live on YouTube and I was thanking Jill's Comfort Zone for sending me, she did a beautiful monetization party on her channel. And she gave away some incredible gifts. And I wanna show you what she sent me because I did do this on a live, but it got deleted. So I wanna show you, and it was the perfect, perfect thing for me. Honestly, it was. Look at this bag. Is this not fabulous? It's going in the back of my car. When I go to the farm stands, and I go to many farm stands, I will be able to load it down with lots and lots of vegetables and fruits. So Jill, this was ideal. 
She also sent Buddy something. She sent a power surge multi-charging station when Buddy is making his videos. And if you don't know who Buddy is, Buddy is my other channel, Buddy the Talking Bichon. I will list it in the link below along with Jill's comfort zone. I finally learned how to link a video. It'll be in the description box below. Anyway, and remember when I was telling you that I used a mandolin? Well, I'm sure you remember if you go way back in my videos, because I'm a prepper, I found this at the, uh, the Goodwill. It was $5. It was brand new. So it had all the blades in here, the top in here, and I am able to put veggies in, press them down, cut them up. Ideal for $5. So I want to thank Jill and uh, you could always find great deals at the Goodwill or the Salvation Army. You really can. Or flea markets. That was brand new. It was brand new. So how am I feeling now that we're in midweek? Because I know the other day I was at the bank with all of you <laughs> and I was going to come home and I was going to do all this stuff when I got in the door. Well, no, I went to sleep. I was so tired by the end of the day to go from my garage with groceries in hand, and I told you all the stuff I was buying, you have to walk 150 feet in and out of the house, in and out of the, fa like a schmuck, I could have parked in front of my house and bring the stuff in, but I already parked into the garage, so I thought, well, what the heck, I'm here now. So, I did all that running in, then the dogs attack you, you know how it is when you walk into the door and the dogs, I got three dogs attacking me, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do this the next day. So really it is the next day from when we were out there driving at the bank and I was getting so annoyed. So I'm gonna let this cook. When it comes out, I'm gonna show it to you and then we'll have a bite of it together. I know it's gonna be ever so delicious. I don't know what else I'm going to have with this as of yet. Um, I know what you're thinking, you're like, there's more? You're gonna eat more? Uh, yeah, yeah, I will. When you eat plant-based, let me just say this because I want to reiterate this again. There is really no calories in vegetables, guys. There really isn't. And for one pound of vegetables, it's 100 calories. I use potatoes. So for every one pound of potatoes, it could be 300 calories. And mushrooms are like nothing. You know what I'm saying? So all those vegetables don't have a huge calorie density, but they have a very filling density. It's going to fill up my belly. Let me stand back for a minute so I could show you guys. What do you think? It's now seven weeks. So I'm going to stand back. I'll give you a side profile. What do you think? What do you think? I think I'm doing all right. I really think I'm doing okay. Have a long way to go. I have a long way to go, but I don't have to say, but I'll have a short time to get there. No, this is not a marathon. This is just a sprint and it is an experiment, but I think it's definitely working. When I st if you're new, when I started, I was 226. I got down the first month to 212. The second month is not over yet. So I will be weighing myself on the eighth week. Yes, I will. And see what month two is. And I have to say, I don't feel deprived. I don't feel hung. I don't feel hungry. Oh my God. If anybody tells you they're hungry, eating all these vegetables, you, and believe me, there is no portion control. So if you're a veggie eater, you're going to love this. And if you're a starch eater, you're going to love this because I'm a starch eater. So I eat a lot of potatoes, a lot of potatoes. I go through a lot of potatoes. <clears throat> okay. I don't want to make it forever long. So I am going to come back when this is comes out of the oven and then we'll all have a taste. Oh, there it goes. I just got it out of the oven. Look how beautiful it looks. Let's sit down and have a bite. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello, it is piping hot. It fell apart a little bit in the pan. I figured it would, it was a little moist. And in this dish over here, I have some pinto beans with a little hot pepper on it. I hope you can see everything. Oh my God, this looks so good. This really does look delicious. I can't wait to taste. I'm drooling. Now, of course, you're seeing a gigantic portion. And it is. <laughs> it 
It's all vegetables, my friends. It's all vegetables. And it's extremely hot. I think I should have let it cool in the pan for a while. And I didn't. And that way it fell apart. But of course the vegetables are somewhat, you know, give off uh, liquid. But I don't care. It smells delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is so good. This is so, and you know what? This is so guilt-free, it's a disgrace. I put a little no sugar spice rub on top of this. Oh yes, I did. That's a little spicy, it's good. Mm. 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 Oh, wow. I'm like trying to get every bite of everything. The sweet potatoes, the white potatoes, it's all here. Now, I just want you to know, in the beginning of the video, I did say something about cauliflower. I made a mistake. I'll correct it somewhere in the video, but I made a mistake. I wish you were here to try this because the flavors are just popping and jumping. And, you know, I think after seven weeks that your taste buds change. I really mean that. I think they're just changed up because everything tastes so good. I could taste all the veggies, the flavor of all the vegetables. Mm, 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 mm. What a little piggy. Let me mix my pinto beans. In my pinto beans, I cook two pounds usually a week of pinto beans or any kind of bean. I will do a two pound bag because remember guys, we're all doing this in my house and how I make my pinto beans is very, very simple. I put a chopped onion in, I put a few carrots in, I put some Mrs. Dash spicy seasoning in it and I have this, I'll, I'll take a cup of beans like this throw it over a baked potato, throw some salsa sauce on top of that. Oh, what a lunch. What a lunch. Well, one day I'll have that lunch with you. So, so good. I want to have a bite of this, but it's so gosh darn hot. I always have these in my refrigerator. I always have everything in my refrigerator. Batch cooking. Batch cook it. Mmm. Mmm. Those beans are so creamy and so delicious. They really are. So if you don't think I'm getting fiber, protein, dairy, it's all here. It's all here. And I'm going to sit back. I'm going to relax. I'm going to enjoy it. I wish you could join me. Oh my God. Doesn't it look good? I Seriously. The colors. The colors. And when it's colored like this, that means I'm getting tons and tons of nutrients and another thing you guys have to know is that because I'm getting all these nutrients, I never feel hungry. When I eat slider foods like junk food, popcorn, potato chips, pretzels, all those things, they're not nutrient fortified. They're just not. But when you're getting all your nutrients, your brain doesn't signal to you, I want to eat more, please bring me more. And it's not because you're hungry, it's because your body, and I'm only learning this now into seven weeks. Your body is not getting what it needs. When I put in what it needs, it doesn't signal. Give me pretzels, give me popcorn, give me potato chips, give me this, give me ice cream. It doesn't. It just goes, thank you, I'm very satisfied. You have triggered all the receptors in my brain and in my body. So guys, until I see you the next time, I hope you give this a try. It is a little loosey-goosey. I should have let it sit for a minute, but that's okay. It's still gonna go down in this gullet. Be kind to one another, the heart truly, that is all that matters. And I know I will see you all soon. Take it easy, my friends. Bye-bye.